Hey guys, it's Dimo from Dimo's Tech and today we have a little bit of a mystery. Let's begin! So I guess this unboxing will be a twice unboxing. I did actually open this, but yeah, the unboxing is pretty much simple. There's nothing in the box except on this part, a cable USB A to USB C, I'm not even going to open it. Let's move the box aside, let's bring this. Now, <laughs> this is a sort of uh, old SSD that I have. It's actually working, I'm not sure that I'll ever use it. I don't want to break it, but we might try to open it, and you'll see why. And we have this thing. Now, it's upside down, and I'm not even going to bother with the manual here, I don't care. So, are you ready to reveal what it is? It's an electric screwdriver. And yeah, that's a cool one, I think. So, um, if we'll actually do like this, you can already see that it actually is sort of moving, but yeah. Anyways, we have a lot of bits and they are magnetic. Everyone is magnetic here. That's a cool thing. But yeah, that's not all the bits we have. On the other side, we also have more bits. Now, this is not exactly a brand by Xiaomi, but some say that it is, I'm not fully sure, there's nothing related to show me, at least on the box or anything, but yeah, it is what it is. Now, if you notice, we have here also um, a thing like this, I'm not sure how to call it, but sort of tweezers, I guess, yeah, tweezers is the way to call them, and yeah, they are pretty much straight, oh, that's also magnetic, it seems, that's amazing. On that side, we have sort of a spatula. It feels a little less magnetic, but yeah, it's quite of nice. And as you've seen, we have bits on both sides. We can take out the screwdriver. It feels pretty light. I mean, not too much light, but it feels pretty light. And if we'll take just a random bit, you... Now, that's something that I... I'm not sure some call it out of stop, some call it manual mode or whatever, but that's very important. You can actually use this while it's off. And that's very important because if you are out of battery or something or if you want to give it a little bit more push without the electricity if you don't have that option you will not be able to do this and that's very important another thing we have here um i think two yeah two leds yeah we have uh, two leds yeah. and we have a little screen we have a usb-c and that's something very important obviously you want to charge with usb-c nowadays not a micro usb come on I did see a lot of those with my USB. Now, just for the sake of fun, let's try to find a bit for that one. I guess it will be on the other side, actually. Or, no, actually, maybe, maybe this one. Let's see. And first, try. yeah. Okay, found a bit. Let's try to put it in. And let's see, it should have battery. Yep, takes a second. And you have those two buttons back and forward. And let's see the light. As you can see, when you turn, we will have the light. Now, if I try to stop it, uh, it's hard. I mean, I can stop it probably, but with a bigger bit because I don't have a whole handle here. But it is pretty hard. Anyways, uh, let's try to, I don't know, um, open this. I'm not sure we can. Oh, yo, wow. Well, actually, it did open pretty much easy. I think we can put the screws here. Yeah, it is magnetic. That's quite cool. Uh, you know what? Let's try to open it. Whatever. I must say that works really well. It's the first time I'm using it. And one of the lights went out, sadly. Um, it went out because of battery, not because I tried to disassemble it yet. So, yep. Um, anyways, final screw, or at least final screw that I see. I'm not going to bother too much to open this, but technically uh, all the screws are open. We might be able to use the spatula, maybe, and try to pry it, maybe? There is a sticker here that I don't care. Now keep in mind there's nothing important on that SSD. The SSD hasn't been used uh, in quite a long time, but yeah. I'm not going to bother too much, again, as I said. And maybe we have another screw somewhere. I'm not sure that we have under this any screws. I guess we just need to find a way in to pry it. And that's it. It feels like it is pryable, actually. Just 
not thin enough. Okay, so uh, this thingy isn't very good as it is not very thin. Actually, that side might do the trick. Let's try to be a little gentle. Yep, maybe. Yeah, it seems like... Oh, oh, wow, we actually... Oh, guys, we actually did it. I didn't believe it, but yeah, we did it. We have an open SSD uh, in no time. Uh, we can even go ahead and uh, continue. I'm not sure if that's a coin bit. Oh, now you see? Yeah, that's not a coin bit even. We need a bigger one. I'm thinking this one. Uh, I'm doing it on the go. I'm not fully sure if that's um, good or not. Uh, I, wow, even inside there is dirt. I don't know how it got in, but okay. Yeah, it starts a little harsh, but yeah, as you can see it works. I don't want to continue, I actually want to screw it back. As you can see it works both sides, and yeah, let's actually close this whole thing back, or at least try. Honestly, even if this SSD is now dead, I don't really care. And as you can see, those screws are really tiny and I'm already almost losing one there. But that's why we have uh, the other two, I mean, tweezers here. But yeah, anyways, um, let's go ahead and uh, try to screw that back. Yeah, on the correct side. That actually feels quite good, I must say. Honestly, I do like this thing. Oh, one hole. Well, if you know what I mean. Anyways, we have two more screws. And yeah, you know, uh, you can do most of those with hand, but if you have a lot of screws, and actually, that's one of the reasons that I bought it. I thought at the beginning that I want to actually disassemble the Roborock S7. You've probably seen the video that it's dead. And honestly, after trying to disassemble it, again, one hole, with uh, the kit that I had before and yeah I still have it it's still worse and everything but I didn't actually want to use that anyways I'm not sure that I showed you good the LCD you can see it goes like this and to the other side it will show you sorry probably I, yeah so you can see it just goes to both of the sides with a little animation not very important not very interesting that's how it works we can also show you some other thing let's first of all put everything in place before anything get lost. That's good. Actually, that one doesn't hold very well, but it is holding. Now, this thing, it actually quite nice. If we do this, it won't fall. And how the heck do you charge it? I mean, do you just put it away or something? No. The charging port is actually open and you can charge through here. Now, keep in mind something. It is a USB-C. But if you use a power delivery brick, it will not work. It won't charge. You do need a quick charge or directly to your computer or some regular charging, whatever. Not power delivery. So keep that in mind. Anyways, uh, that's an amazing screwdriver actually. It's pretty much brandless, no name, whatever. Uh, though I did see a couple of um, sellers do write that uh, it somehow belongs to Xiaomi. Uh, it looks awesome, feels, this thing feels uh, actually metallic. The insides, so the plate itself, I mean, it feels plasticky, it is plastic. It does have magnets inside, obviously, for the bits. The screwdriver, on the other hand, honestly, this is plastic as well, I think. Now, my guess, you do have a lot of metal inside. I'm not sure if you can somehow open it. This thing seems to actually move a little, this plastic thing, but I'm not sure that it should actually move. That's quite a nice, actually, electric screwdriver. I do like that. And you have a place here for uh, your screws and also sort of a magnetizer, though there is no demagnetizer. That's something that you should uh, take a note. I mean, you can magnetize. I mean, they show it through here. And yeah, I do feel like it is doing something. So I guess it is magnetizing. Yeah, it feels like that. But uh, honestly, I do like it. If you are interested, uh, the links will be, as always, in the description of this video. And that's it for today. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching this Demos Tech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.